stinky nose shaver. G'day, stinky nose shaver. Today, I am going to tell you that you miss out after you watch my videos. Some of the best things happen down in the comments. I love commenting and replying to people's videos. Almost always, I learn something or I share something and I try to make it funny because I don't know how to be serious. Um, so I really put people's noses out, but it has been known to happen. I apologize if your nose has been put out. Luckily, you probably don't watch my videos anymore. Therefore, you're really not gonna be seriously affected or get the benefit of the apology. So, ha, <laughs> screw you. Real man shave. Real man shave their faces. Real man shave. Seriously? Steve Kinder asked a question that's related to a whole bunch of questions I have up in front of me. Steve Kinder asked, how does the injector compare with the leaf? Also the one blade. This is a good question. How does it compare? This isn't a shave off today, but this is a comparison. We've already done a head to head of these two. But Steve Kinder asked me, how does this guy do? You'll notice mine's got a black bit. Oh, yours is black. Mine's black. <laughs> what have I done? I got sent another one. And this one was black. There we go. There's my black one. I take it out. Now, what do you do when you have a black and a silver? You do the obvious thing. You swap the nut around. So today we're shaving with the black one. Do not, do not play with this razor unless you've got a plug in your sink. Because if you drop that down, you're, oh, yes, you're gonna learn about plumbing home edition. And there's two ways to load this. I normally load it manually, but today I'm gonna experiment and just load it the old fashioned way, the way injectors were designed. They used to be called Eversharps. The idea was you always had an Eversharp blade. So you take it, you slide the key in, and then just requires you to pull back, put a blade in, slide it out, there it is. Normally, I put it in the old fashioned way, manually, by taking the bottom off. But there you go, that's how you're supposed to do it. Right, well, while I'm having a show, I'm gonna talk about some of the things <laughs> that have been commented on my videos recently. So let's go and load this up with the good old Brothers Grim soap. My, uh, well, I don't know, Etsy brush. Now, Neil DeZoza asked me, is my um, Real Men Shave song, A, do I sing it? Real men shave, real men shave their faces because their hands can't reach their ass. Real men shave, that's what we don't sing. <laughs> well, you can thank your lucky stars I don't. And if not, where did it come from? It came from a band called The Luckbeards. They are an Adelaide Australian band, pub band, you know, playing of a weekend, uni students, I think. And uh, I use it with permission. The guys watched a couple of my videos and said, yeah, go use it. So I've been using it. It's brilliant. It's almost like they wrote it for me. In fact, I could tell you they wrote it for me, but they didn't. It's just a happy coincidence that real men shave. Okay, so Jeffrey from Dubai asked me about leaf blades. First of all, Jeffrey, my reply to him in the comments was, thanks mate for the oil. Really appreciate it. My car starts every day. <laughs> and I'm thanking you personally. Since you're from Dubai, that neck of the woods where it rains from the ground up black gold. He's worried about derbies. Derbies are nothing to worry about. They are a good, medium, sharp, safe blade. They're not as sharp as a feather. They're a little bit smoother than some people like. Personally, I find them fine. I go, um, Dorcos are, you know, perfectly serviceable blade. Uh, the reason Dorcos, made in China, the Dorcos, um, and there are the new premium ones that are made in Korea. They purchased American X sharpening equipment. They're very sharp. Brings me to another subject. I keep getting sidetracked. Let's start our shave. I'll do comments about this at the end. So the Chinese have been buying 
American shave equipment. The result is a lot of the new Chinese blades are brilliant, but getting better because they've purchased apparently new state-of-the-art German automatic um, blade making and sharpening equipment that should be coming online 2018. So we are about to be inundated now with very good quality Chinese blades. Having said that, if you try a black eagle blade from China, chuck it in the bin. And they are improving. The Chinese have a lot of money to buy state-of-the-art equipment. I'd go Doko, Derby, Crystals, Personas. Israeli Personas are great. Israelis do a great blade. The people that seem to struggle are some of the really cheap Chinese companies and some of the um, Pakistani um, blades are less than adequate, but that's not all of them. Pakistan also makes some really good blades. Um, in fact, I think Pakistan might also make um, um, Persona Reds. There's sort of an Israeli-Pakistani sort of link there. I'm not too sure what it is, but either that or they've renamed it slightly. Uh, then you come up with Crystals, um, Personas. They're, I think, pretty much identical. Uh, then up to the good old Feather. Feather is top drawer. You often need a shave to just knock the edge off it because they are so sharp. Um, you tend to get another extra shave off a feather, but uh, using the wrong light razor. Now, a feather in this should be fine. I will be experimenting. Then do the Rolls Royce. If you wanted to, you could just shave your feathers. You don't need to try any other blade. Once you nail it, you laugh and you find the right razor, right blade. The stainless steel um, feather razor is brilliant. It tames the feather beautifully, as does the cheap twist to open. Um, both those feather offerings are excellent. The Japanese just make good kit. Wolf Ranger 2008 and Extra Gorbeta X72 are worried that $200 is too much to play for one blade. Okay, so they were $300 when they came out, which is, at the time, about $100 more than a premium stainless steel DE razor. Then, because of popularity and redesign, profit margins, they bumped it up to $400. Now they have a sale, and they've dropped the price on a couple of hundred uh, razors, whether they're new or refurbished, who the hell cares, down to $200, which is ballpark with most of the DEs. Yes, they use a feather blade that only feather make. Having said that, that is a brilliant company that made great blades, this is a blade they've been making for a long time and now someone's using it, they'll probably have no reason to ever stop. I've also looked online for the cheapest place to buy them in the UK. Cannot shaving sell the blades um, cheap for Europe. Um, in America, just go to one blade site. It's the best value. You get 30 blades there for like 22 as a one-off. Um, you don't have to subscribe if you don't want to. Um, they just sell them cheaper than Amazon, which is of course the go-to place that I checked as well. Um, if that wasn't the case, I'd tell you. When it's the case, I will tell you. Use the premium blade that you can't share with anything else because at the moment, no one else makes one that uses that. There's no reason why someone else can't design one, however. Just a thought for someone out there looking for a weekend do-it-yourself project. You can use them in a lot of old vintage razors, but no new ones have come out. Second pass, how do you feel? Okay, still got a bit there. $200. What's $200? You can get a lot of good razors for a fraction of that. Um, my mate DE's from the Rockwell Success, um, 6C if you just want something cheaper. Uh, you could go um, above the tie, around the $200 mark, comparable, multiple blades. Personally, if you like a single edge, the Feather Artist Blade, General, who make the Colonial, the Colonial make the General, well, yeah, that one. Uh, I'd say uh, the Hawk is another one that's pretty budget. It's not as smooth as either a one blade or especially a feather. This thing is for three blades incredibly smooth. Okay, back to my comments. Is it worth 200? Well, if you don't want to spend 200, don't. I'll tell you what will happen though, once they're sold out, They'll go back to 400 and people will say, why didn't you tell me? Well, that's what I do. I tell you, I tell you, 
So if you've been waiting or you go, man, I'm just going to credit card it and be damned with the consequences, now is time to do it. In Australia, they're about to bring in GST and online sales from July 1. How it's going to be policed, I don't know. But uh, I'd say before July 1, you'd want it over the border. I don't know about you, but I'm sweating a couple of things as it is. Third pass. Some people really love this razor. I like it. I don't love it. It's, I've suggested to them some changes. They go, yeah, it's okay the way it is. We're not gonna change it. That happens with a lot of razors. Got no interest in um, changing anything. They've done the die, they've done the hard work. They just wanna reap in the profits and never change anything. And this happens with a lot of razors. So, you know, this is not particular to anybody. Um, sometimes they bring out a new version like Blacklands did on me for a base and then want to charge you literally the cost of a really good razor just for one little freaking bit. Oh well, screw me if I've got the money. I just chose not to pay it. Third pass. Okay, Rick Reynolds asks, what if Feather stop making blades? Well, if you don't have a year supply of blades, you're doing something wrong or two years, or five years, or a thousand years worth of blades. If you can't shave your whole string, not everybody has a lifetime supply of blades for their favorite razors. Um, second thing is uh, shop around the various places that sell them and get them as a good deal. Um, one blade in America are excellent value because they're selling a lot of blades, they've discounted them. $22 at the moment for 30 blades. So that's under a dollar a blade. You can mod gems for the first Genesis razor. You can probably still mod them and work out a way to get them in the second generation, but I suggest you don't do that because you don't want to loosen a good razor unnecessarily. Wear and tear of a imperfect blade, but gems are when they're being despined and modded with a dermadrill, can be forced into places that um, perhaps they shouldn't go. <laughs> the Observer. The observer says, Steve, what kind of battery are you using? With all your energy source, exuding so much enthusiasm, positivity and happiness, it's certainly not Duracell's. My reply was, okay. So my reply to this thoughtful question was, I put it down to a strict diet of taking other people's medication. Yesterday was red pills. Today, it's blue pills. Tomorrow, midweek, hump day shave, it's anything that can happen day you shave. Um, I take any colored pill. It often results in me being in hospital, 24 hour psych hold. <laughs> it's always fun that I can take 20,000 volts now without passing a stool that oddly does resemble a Duracell battery. If I have enough brand, I'm just saying, you might be onto something about the Duracell. Um, welcome to the matrix, enjoy. I think that was a reference to the red pill, blue pill thing. You got it. Okay. Lastly, we're getting very close to the last. Getting very close to the last here. Very close. Lastly, Rajan Shamara comments that while I shave nice, my reviews are just too comedic and I talk too much unnecessarily. My reply was, all I heard you say was I was pretty. <laughs> um, you made my day. Okay. Carlos, last comment. Carlos says, um, there was a hair, there was a hair, a random hair, in me bot. This came from this brush that sheds like a Shetland pony with dermatitis. What can I say? Um, it left one behind. It often leaves a dozen in me sink. I spend ages trying to make sure they don't go down the plug hole, which results in additional effort. The fact is I should soak that knot out or drill it out and go and put a better knot in it, but um, I just haven't had the, so I still use it the way it is. It's a black badger and it just, this thing just, and the, yeah, you can just pull hairs out of it. It just, like I said, like a Shetland pony with dermatitis. Still got hair in it, still keep shaving with it. Till it's one of the get round to it. Don't you have a list to get round to it? So my final thoughts on this razor is, it's actually quite aggressive. Now on the three. Two, less aggressive. One, less aggressive again. I've got it on the three. There's a lot of face feel, a lot of feedback, it got close enough for me to be happy, but I'm not BBS. Certainly not up to the quality of the shaves that I get with other razors. Don't mention any brands. Don't want to upset my last surviving viewer. 
The solution with this razor is just to keep trying these bases until you find the right one for you. When you do, you don't need to change it again. You don't need to buy two to do this. You can always order an extra one and request the color that you want. Uh, the black is a matte black and it's not slippery, so you get a good grip. These blades, even in the old vintage ones, were quite aggressive. If you're a pro-aggressive shaver, these blades are good. I prefer Feather Artist blades. I've told him to redo this for a Feather Artist. Yeah, he hasn't. Someone else has, there's lots of Feather Artists, but I'd love to have one of these that took the wider Feather Artist blade. I think he's onto something, but you know, you can talk to your red in the face. Um, three bases, you should be able to find yourself one. When you're done, you can actually take the blade out simply enough. By the way, today's watch is a tag chrono. By the way, that is a quartz tag. Right, I just dry your blades and uh, allow them to dry. Blades need to be used. Blades that are over a week old will start to develop surface rust, whether you can see it or not, and it affects your shave. So not a good idea. So I'm Stevie Daly Shaver, wishing you all the best of shaves. Remember, good food, good friends, good shaves, amen. And what's nice to be important, it's more important to be nice. Go forth, spread the wet shaver's blessing, shaving one whisker at a time. I'm Stevie Daly Shaver, wishing you all the best of shaves. Good shaves and goodbye. Beard man, you think that you're so cool. Your face looks like a small masterpiece